costs, all the um, organisation that goes into it. It's, yeah, it surprised me how much work went into a festival such as this. Okay, just get people together, get them in a cinema and throw a film on. You forget about, um, you know, advertising and planning and calling people up and calling directors up and handing out free tickets and, you know, just a lot. Of, you forget how many, you know, I learned how much goes into actually preparing a festival and how long it takes to prepare a festival. We made it first of all, we were scared that anyone was even going to like it or laugh at it. We screened in college and then people kind of gave us great feedback and then we thought, why not try it and think of them best. We didn't really think we'd get in. Then we got the email back and they said, yeah, great. And then they were shortlisted, which is brilliant. Like, you know, um, it's wonderful to get a little bit of recognition at all and get it out there. Uh, it was surreal. Uh, having the opportunity to do that, I think it's, uh, especially someone my age, I'm only 22. So having a film like that being shown to not just your family and friends, but to the wider audience, it's a great opportunity. And it was um, very humbling and quite a nice feeling to see other people willing to go see it and stuff like that, as well as the other films. This year, as opposed to previous years, we have more Irish films in on the schedule. And what that's done, it's attracted better audiences to the screenings. Really interesting to, to do the workshops and to revisit the material and present it in its layers. And you, can, you learn something from it also by presenting it that way. And you, you hope that it just shows that there's a level of you have to have a level of interest in, in, in being involved in it as well. That's more than just than just going and doing something for eight or nine hours. We really think and want to do this job. And it's lovely to. I suppose it's really nice to. Work, uh, to, to do a workshop with a group like today where you're not really sure everyone's kind of coming from a slightly different background it's not a group of people all at the same year in college or people some people are working in the industry some people are trying to figure out how to get into the industry others are just interested in film as an idea and you you're just kind of giving them an idea of something that happens behind the scenes that uh, it's a possible career avenue. It's actually all we kind of boils down just good traditional animation skills. So if it's drawn on paper, you know, or if it's done in 3D, or it's in Flash or a program, I think it's as long as the kind of like the core traditional animation sensibilities shine through, and that's that's the most important thing. So it gives the energy up, the enthusiasm there, um, and it, get, it gets kind of like it, it's a good way of kind of getting people's um, faces known and build up the CVs that they make and kind of work on, you know, TV features or film features um, I think it's, yeah, it's hugely important yeah, yeah, especially for students finishing colleges. Doing something that nurtures and facilitates creativity to this level in a relatively small community is fantastic and even around here we have a team of volunteers, we, every, all of my staff here are very happy and motivated and there's a real buzz about the place. I would like to welcome you all here to the third annual award ceremony of the Fingal Film Festival. Uh, we're all up for a very good time. Uh, I'm your host by the way, uh, my name is Al. Some of you may be looking at me wondering, oh, is he, isn't he? Uh, I am, I'm from Tala. I, I've always been interested in the local community. If something starts at grassroots level, it means it's coming from an honest place, and that's what I like, is honesty. And I like that things like this, initiatives like this, start from, you know, humble beginnings. And now Dave and Liz, who started this, they've after creating an internationally acclaimed festival, which will continue to grow. This is a celebration of the films that you guys have made. This is a culmination of your hard work. Uh, we were very proud to be able to be in a position to show your films over the course of the last three days and we look forward to receiving many more submissions for you in the future. I've learned a lot about how festivals work and I've also learned about how to go about submitting things to festivals because there are a lot of things you wouldn't really think about when you send DVDs or when you fill in application forms or when you send things. I've learned that uh, to make a festival you need a lot of workers, you need a lot of dedicated people, some people who um, may not necessarily get paid but who hopefully will learn a skill set and, and they're learning from each other as well, different skill sets, different backgrounds in film, media. That you know now that once you make a film that's not the end of it, you have to carry it and you have to promote it and work at it as well and it's a whole other thing in and of itself. Um, I suppose they said I'd never considered it before and it's great that I know I'm going to save myself a lot of short-term and long-term mistakes because I've learned that from now. It was stressful but it was good stress and it just kind of reassured me that I could work under these kind of circumstances and 
their job is done. Um, my highlight of the festival so far has been the animation workshop with Boulder Media and Rob Cullen. Uh, I'm not an animator but I just thought it was really interesting because it focused on storytelling and character design and basically how to tell a good story. The highlight of the festival was seeing um, a lot of films that are from Irish people, especially student films. Uh, it's kind of showing me the, the amount of talent that's in Ireland and it's kind of giving me new newfound hope and you know, uh, I'm ready to go out there and start hopefully making films of my own. The opening night of the Fingal Film Festival when I was sitting down watching Skunky Dog and Palo Alto and to look behind and see the theatre full of people who had come to see um, the opening night, that was, you know, that was a great buzz and definitely the highlight of the festival for me.